ke L. So today, I will be coming to you with a story time. Egg roll. I love egg rolls. It's so good. Lemon pepper chicken. Chicken and broccoli. Yellow rice. We gotta have the duck sauce. So, I want to talk about some adventures I've had with my children. So, the first adventure I want to talk about would be my male's 16th birthday. He had just got his license and or he got his permit and he was turning the big 16. And um, I got him his very first car. It was a Lexus all white. No, I'm sorry, it was a BMW. BMW 360 all white. And um, Excuse me. And I was so proud to put a bow on it and surprise him. But this is what I did. Let me tell you about the whole day. So I got his best friend, Anthony, and I told him we was going somewhere, but I didn't tell him where. And we drove far, far, far. And we get to the place and it's a bunch of private jets and airplanes. And Anthony and my mail is shitting in their pants because they thinking that I'm gonna have them skydive. I kind of was telling him I was gonna have him do it, but I never said when or nothing. So I drove them over there. We get out, we meet the people, we sign our stuff, and they take us to our helicopter. And before they take us, they went to the bathroom, they were shitting on themselves. They thought I was gonna have them skydive. They take us to the helicopter, and they was relieved. And the man that was our helicopter driver said, that we were in front of and next to Oprah Winfrey's jet. And I was like, that's her jet, oh my God. We went on the chopper ride all over the city, downtown, Buckhead, everywhere in Atlanta. And then we did like a good 30 minutes and then we get out and we go to dinner at Golden Buddha where they cook the Japanese food in your face. They made the volcano, flip the egg tricks and all of that. And his friends and my friends met us there. And then when he came out and dinner was over, I had the car in the lot with the bow on it. I have to have one of my friends drive and bring the car, or well, I have to drive the car. I don't know how I did it, but I made it happen. He came out, he was so happy. And then we drove home. For his 18th birthday, for the 17th one, we went to iFly and we did indoor skydiving. Angel did it, Jamal, everybody did indoor skydiving. It was so fun. It was hard to breathe in there. 
but it was a lot of fun. So for the big 18th birthday, I was like, we're going skydiving. When I booked it and everything, we go out there and they say the wind was blowing too strong. We was not able to skydive on the day we went out there. We had to come back like a day or two later. So day or two later, we go out there and we actually skydive. And I was talking so much stuff. I was talking so much. You know, I love boosting it up. And my man was like, if I die, I'm going to kill you, mom. And I was laughing like, how you going to kill me if we did? And we put our one piece on and our, and our parachute on. We went to the plane. And when we got in the plane, I still was talking about it. Like, we got them. It ain't nothing. So I saw that first man jump out the plane. I was like, oh, my God. My heart came to my... Oh, my, my heart dropped out of my chest. I was like, oh, my God. He just threw himself out the plane. And I was so scared. And I was like, oh, my God, my man. And I went first. I went before him. And when I jumped out the plane, I was like, <gasps> like that kind of face. But then like after a while, they was like, you good? The guy behind me, you good? And he kept doing like this, tell me you good? And I was like, oh my God, yes, I'm good. And then I got to relax and enjoy the view. The little white boy, that was jumping with me. He kept trying to holler at me on the plane. He kept saying he loved my hair, loved my hair. And he kept fixing my rope tie to strap onto him. He was real flirty, my little instructor. But when I tell you it was a beautiful experience, Beautiful, beautiful experience. And when my, my male landed, he was crying. He had some tears in his eyes. He was like, oh my God. Oh my God. And I was laughing. I was like, you were scared the whole time? He loves heights. I swear, he did the slingshots. He does everything. My man does everything. He does zip line across the alligator. I'm not gonna do all the heights stuff. He's scared, but he'll do it. All the roller coasters. Now, let me tell you about Jamal. Jamal, 13th birthday. We took him to Six Flags and we put him on the screen machine. <laughs> when I tell you, he was so scared. He was screaming and he was going down the seat like them. Because you got to hold on like that. He was going down. Oh my God, I'm going to die. Oh my God, I'm falling down. Oh my God. And I'm behind them. He's sitting with my mouth. And my mouth is dying laughing. And I'm behind them. And I'm like, my mouth, don't let him fall. And oh my God, you all right? And I'm laughing because it's so funny. He was so scared. Ah, get me out. <laughs> The funniest time ever. Jamel was so scared. So when he got older, when he got a little older, he was 13. I think he was 10 when that happened. Then I took it back when he was 13. Yeah, that's what it was. He was 10 swimming like that. When he was 13, I took him back to get on roller coaster, see if he would do it. And he got on them. Excuse me. Excuse me. He got on them. He went down. He screamed a little bit, but he wasn't as scared anymore. But when I tell you, me and my mother was dying, we were laughing so hard. It was so funny.
Now my angel. Oh no, I got one more with your mouth. I think it was Jamal's maybe eight or nine birthday. It was one of them. I wrote it down, but I can't remember right right now. But they had a thing in the aquarium that you could pay to sleep overnight in the aquarium. And you get behind the scene tour. And we play games. We had a um, stingray tooth. We fed the baby sharks, all that. And we slept in sleeping bags by the shark tanks. A group of us. Jamal made a white little frame. They slept together next to each other. And it was a freaking awesome time. That night, I remember this old white couple was trying to get freaky. They were old, so like, still in 60s, 60s, 70s. They was old. Sleeping in lingerie and shit, trying to get it on by the shark tank. <laughs> Me and my man was laughing at them. I don't remember why I was looking at them. Um... Then we have Angel, my baby girl. We went to medieval times for one of her birthdays. It was a lot of us. And we had the big princess cake. We were the green team. And we had a blast. We had a blast. We had a blast. I remember they wanted to hold my cake for me, put it in the fridge, and then bring it out when they wanted to sing. Uh, of course, at medieval times, you eat with your hands and everything. It was really, really nice. We had a great time. But our green team didn't win. We lost. Um, another good birthday we had with Angel was I'm sure, hold on. <laughs> Trying not to spit. Mm, that egg roll. Mm, mm, mm. So good. Um, another good birthday we had with Angel was we had a big bowling birthday party. All the friends came. We all went against each other. Her cake was like a pocketbook and a high heel shoe. It was all edible. It was really dope. I always make sure I do my kids' birthdays real nice. And even if they don't have a bunch of friends, I always try to get at least one friend to join them. Or come along. But we've been fortunate to always have a lot of kids. And um, a lot of pictures and a lot of memories. But that's why I keep my pictures, because it makes you remember what those good times. So if you forget, you can look at it and be like, oh, I remember that. So pictures are important. Um, and making memories are some of the most important things you could do as a human being. 
with a family. You just make sure your family always have good memories to remember. Remember good things about the world. I've traveled out the country with my kids, in the country with them, different states. We've been to Disney, we've been to LA, we've been, we've been to Mexico, Haiti, Bahamas, we've been everywhere. We've done a bunch of <clears throat> excursions. Swimming with the dolphin was my favorite. Remember my man, we went swimming with the dolphin, her name was Pigeon. And that was a lot of fun, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. It was so nice. Um, what else? In Turks and Caicos, I rode the horse in the water. Jamal rode the, um, the big motorboat thing. Puerto Rico, I, I just ski. I need to go back and jet ski. I tried a jet ski recently when we went to Panama City, but they had high tides, so I wasn't able to. But Mexico, we went snorkeling. Me and Jamal always remember we saw a swordfish when we went snorkeling under the water. And they thought it was a shark. And they swam back to shore and they left me out there. And when I saw everybody was leaving and panicking, and I'm just sitting there like, what's going on? I'm just looking at the fish. And then I saw that sore fish. Oh my God, I had a heart attack. And I swam for sure, and then I cut myself on the coral reef. Funniest time ever. I wish we would have had underwater cameras at that time. Cause that was some funny, funny shit. Y'all would have some great footage. <laughs> I'm trying to swim for my life. But yeah, so I just want to do a quick story time. Some great memories I have with my children. I really love my kids. They are special. They are a blessing. And they're meant to be here. And I love y'all so very much. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Smack that notification from the bell. From the bell. And I love y'all. And.